Angry youth have invaded the palace of the Oba of Lagos in Lagos Island, vandalizing vehicles and cutting away several artifacts. In a viral video, the youth is seen making away with the staff of office, commonly referred to as Opashe. A resident of Lagos Island confirmed that individuals who invaded the palace were the same ones who set the family home of Governor Babajide Sonwuru ablaze. Joining us live to discuss this is Ladipo Johnson, a public affairs analyst. Thank you very much, Ladipo, for joining us. Good afternoon. Now, did you see this coming, especially after the attack on protesters by armed soldiers? Yes, um, unfortunately, um, the entire matter wasn't properly handled. Um, I was on um, your breakfast program the other day, and I did mention that um, government should have taken certain steps, um, more decisive steps, sooner. Um, unfortunately, we all know the incident that happened at the Lecky toll gate, and um, this has caused um, a reaction. The problem goes way beyond the NSAS riots. People are hungry, people are unemployed, especially the youth. And there is poverty in the land. And I think anyone that has been in doubt or has been in denial of the situation in the country in the past year or two has seen what has happened yesterday and will know that government must take some decisive steps, not just shooting the people, must take decisive steps and must reach out to the youth. Now, unfortunately, miscreants and area boys have taken over the whole, um, the whole incident. But what we have to let them know, which is difficult to do when people are so emotional, is that when you destroy public buildings, public property, buses, um, offices, you are just increasing the problem and the hardship because taxpayers' money will be used to fix these places. So unfortunately, we're where we are at, but I call on the government to do what they have to do very quickly to reach out to Nigerians, to assuage all the hurt that has been felt or is being felt by the people.